What's goody YTBC? What's good, fight fans? Boxing heads around the world. B Marsh with another boxing video. So this is my post-fight review for um, Nathan Cleverly versus Jürgen Bremer out there in um, Germany for the um, regular WBA light heavyweight strap that Jürgen, or Jürgen Bremer holds. Man, this was turning out to be a good fight, ladies and gents. Great fight. You know what I'm saying? Actually, after, um, what was it? The man Nathan Cleverly actually wins the round. The fight by seventh round TKO. The man retired in the corner. Um, I think the man um, ripped a muscle in his elbow or something happened to his elbow. I'm talking about Jurgen Bremer. It was a good fight nonetheless, man. There was a lot of action. You know what I'm saying? Both guys were throwing punches and bunches, combination shots. Jurgen Bremer had um, some nice um, straight left hands. He was throwing the body shots. You know what I mean? He was going to um, head shots, hooks to the head. The man Jürgen Bremer was doing his thing in there, but Nathan Cleverly also had his moments, you know what I mean? And like I said, I had to fight dead even after six rounds. The seventh round to me was up for grabs, you know what I'm saying? But um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sad that the fight ain't going to go on, man, because this was turning out to be a great fight at light heavyweight, man. Looks like the man Nathan, Nathan Cleverly lately is going to be in our fight of the year candidate said, um... And light heavyweight, you know what I'm saying? The man, um, uh, um, what's his name? Um, Nathan Cleverly, he landed some punches in there. He traded with the man. This was a southpaw versus, um, a southpaw versus, um, an orthodox fighter. The southpaw was Bramer. And he was a real crafty southpaw, man. You know what I'm saying? He's fought a lot of bums out there in Europe, you know what I mean? And he's lost to guys we don't even know, you know what I mean? But, um, for the most part, man, it was a lot of good action, man. I really enjoyed this fight. You can see right there the man, they throwing punches in bunches. Nathan Cleverly likes to fight more on the inside, more close range, while this guy was more dominating when he found the distance. You see there, he got his range. You know what I'm saying? He's not all up close to him, but he's landing his punches. Jürgen Bremer, you know? This was a good fight, ladies and gents. Good fight. A fight that was really on nobody's radar, you know what I mean? I didn't even make a prediction vi video for this because I totally forgot about any fights this weekend on boxing, whether it was this fight or even the Demetrenko and um, Joseph Parker fight, you know what I mean? But the man, um, Nathan Cleverly, you see him on his comeback. This was basically what he was doing. Each guy had moments in the round. All these rounds were close, you know what I'm saying? All these rounds were close. Like I said, I had it even. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody's scorecard had it 4-2 for Bremer or the other way, 4-2 for the um, Nathan Cleverly, you know what I'm saying? Pretty even rounds, swing rounds. Both guys doing good action. But I think, um, you know, I think there should be a rematch. You know, the man got injured after the round. He just sat down and he didn't come out. You can see right there, man. The man hurt his hand, man. It wasn't like he was messed up, got hit in the face or was bleeding or got an uh, uh, accidental headbutt. You know, even Nathan Cleverly is ready to come out for round seven. But the man, um, Bremer, man, this man Bremer's, man, he's done for the day. He's done, you know what I'm saying? So congratulations to uh, Nathan Cleverly. Now he's a WBA regular champion. And, you know, it's my wish and I hope that the WBA makes um, him fight whoever wins the fight between Nathan Cle I'm sorry. Andre Ward and um and Sergey Kovalev, man, because they need to get rid of these interim and um regular titles. Alright? So this is my video for um the post fight review for um Nathan Cleverly versus Jurgen Bremer. Great fight, great fight. A lot of people slept on it, and I'm not gonna lie, so did I. And uh we got a great fight for uh for the few minutes it lasted. Alright? B Marsh Boxing, thanks for listening. Peace.